Guys, my name is Tequisha. This is our freedom song. I am standing in the front of my house, and just a week ago, I planted seeds about two months late. I was breaking all the rules. So many of you commented that you are rule breakers too. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Let's just keep experimenting together, shall we? We are actually going to be in the kitchen today. So after we take a look at here, I'm gonna take you guys into the kitchen. I'm so excited about these two recipes. They are breakfast breads, that's what I'm calling them with the same dough base and they are so simple, so delicious. And one of the most important things, they are beautiful dishes. And so I cannot wait to show you what that is. But first, let's get to these seeds. What I decided to do was lay down some seeds and then cover it with some greenhouse plastic. And it's been like this for about a week. So let's go ahead and uncover it and see what's growing. See if we cannot see some little sprouts. I am hoping for the best. So this is what it's looking like, y'all. Ooh, down here, I see, I see some exposed <laughs> soil, but I see some little sprouts that popped up here. So let's take a look. Let's start in this section. Oh my goodness. Yes. Uh oh, that one came out. Oh, that came out. Oh my goodness. Yes. Look at all those little baby sprouts. Look at those, y'all. They need some direct sunlight. <laughs> leggy and all but they are sprouted okay so let's let's pull this up and let's see yes it worked y'all it worked look how well this worked oh my goodness look how well this worked I am so happy with what I'm seeing right now with all of these little sprouts. They really, really, really love that method. It was definitely worth trying and experimenting with that greenhouse effect because we have some sprouts. So. I'm hoping for the best. We're gonna go ahead and give these some water. And listen, we've done all we can do at this point. so I just took a peek under this one the carrot bed because I didn't know what to expect because I planted those carrot seeds days and days after the other bed but we have some little sprouts here which is such a great sign Goodness, that's so exciting. I'm so excited right now. That's success right there. The feeling of success. Yes, yes. So now that we've been successful out here in the garden, let's go inside and have success in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start with the dough. This is such a easy dough to put together. I will leave the recipe down in the description box so that you can find it. 
I actually was very ambitious and doubled the recipe, which normally already makes two whole loaves for our family. Super ambitious. <laughs> but I will leave that down below so that you can see um, what the recipe is in case you want to try it out for yourself. This is such a good basic dough. I, in this video, am going to make two savory breads, but I use the same exact dough to make sweet breads as well. And so it's definitely, definitely, definitely a good one to have in, um, in your recipe book. So for the first time, I am going to be making this dough letting it sit in the refrigerator and then making the bread the next day. I typically always make dough fresh just because it doesn't take that long to make it. And you know, within a couple hours you have these beautiful loaves. But because I wanted to film with plenty of daylight, I decided that I would make the dough this evening and then bright and early in the morning start baking. So I've received many comments with people saying how much they appreciate seeing me clean up after myself <laughs> in the garden. And so I definitely don't want to make anybody have the impression that, you know, when we are cooking or when we are gardening, the junk that we leave behind or the mess that we leave behind is going to clean itself up. <laughs> and so I wanted to add small clips of me cleaning up behind myself to encourage others to do the same and to know, no, I don't just have somebody coming right behind me doing all my cleaning, right? We have to cook and we have to clean up behind ourselves as well. <laughs> Although we do have a very good system and our kids are really incredible and they have their chores, they primarily clean the kitchen. So I'm referring to like while I'm cooking, especially like doing bulk cooking, I just cannot stand to have a whole big old mess. Like I like to clean it up as I'm going so it doesn't feel so overwhelming. Okay, so this first bread that I'm going to make is a pull apart breakfast bread. Y'all, it is so good. I know there's so many different versions of this. You know, I just, as you saw, you know, roll the dough up and put it in a bowl. And I'm just coating it with this ghee. But you can use butter. You can use oil. I'm coating the dough so that it doesn't stick together. This dough recipe, as written, makes two loaves for our family. So for this bread right here, what I'm doing is I'm using half the recipe. So I'm using one bundle of dough. And what you see me doing here is seasoning the dough. So I use about two tablespoons of the ghee. I use about a couple teaspoons of salt. Um, I use mushroom powder, about two tablespoons, some pepper, some chili pepper flakes to taste, and I'm just rubbing it into each of those balls, right? And after I get this all seasoned up, I'm going to pop it in the refrigerator. So this is my modified version of a breakfast bread. I will definitely leave um, the original recipe down in the description below so that you can look at it and you can see the differences. I don't typically go off of recipes whenever I am able to cook like savory, right? So when we bake, we have to use a recipe. And when we are making bread, we better make sure that we're doing exactly what's supposed to be in there because there's a science behind it. But as far as like seasoning my food and then you know, when it comes to flavor and taste, I am just doing that to my taste. And this bread came out so wonderful. Um, I really hope that you decide to try it because it is phenomenal. So I am doing scrambled eggs, right? Um, and I loved it. It was really great. Everything just had to bake. The, the bake was very quick and it's because we didn't have raw eggs in it as well. So cooked eggs, onions, kale, peppers. I'm going to saute these all up together and 
we are going to add this to our dough mixture. To give a general understanding of how many vegetables I ended up using, it's about two cups, two or two and a half cups of vegetables. So one of the things that's gonna help this bread is the fact that the dough is cooled. So when I add these hot peppers and onions, um, it's not going to melt the dough. And so it's going to help it keep its shape and keep it together. And I'm going to just toss this together pretty quickly because like I said, I want the dough to hold its shape. So this pull apart bread is going to be held together by cheese. Yum. Okay, so I add about two cups of cheese to the dough, toss it around really quickly, and that is it. That is the process of this. I'm going to be adding some sesame seeds because that is going to add to the flavor and it's also going to add to the beauty of this loaf. So before popping this in the oven, I'm going to let it rest for 20 minutes. And while I do that, I wanna show you how you can make a gluten-free version using these same ingredients because is it just me? How many times have you went somewhere and you were bringing a dish or you found out there was somebody who couldn't have bread? And so I just want to encourage you while I'm already using these same ingredients, how you can quickly whip up something that is gluten-free. I'm just going to saute these vegetables. The only thing I've added differently is some mushrooms. And so we're just gonna saute these all up. This is that basil, y'all, that from the garden that we dehydrated in the greenhouse. Oh my goodness, I've been using it on everything. The flavor is night and day compared to what you buy um, in the season and out at the store. Like it is just popping with so much delicious basil flavor. I'm so happy about it. So yes, I'm just doing a, a very quick scramble of these um, peppers and onions and mushrooms and um, this kale so good i love sauteed vegetables i could i could definitely be perfectly happy every day with sauteed vegetables and eggs and sometimes i don't even need the eggs and so a dish like this satisfies me <laughs> give me some sweet potatoes and some sauteed vegetables and i'm good i i'm good i'm satisfied So of course you see me using the same bowl that I already used <laughs> that had the dough in it. So don't do that if you know somebody who is sensitive to gluten. <laughs> but I'm just stirring everything together, the eggs and the two cups of cheese. And I'm going to pop these into our silicone molds. I love a cute mold. Like it just makes something so basic and regular have so much like, I don't know, 
pizzazz. <laughs> it just really elevates it for me. I just really love to like look down at my plate and my food as regular as it may be. It just looks really pretty. Am I the only one? Because I just love beautiful food. So anyway, um, you can put these in anything. I decided to use these and I love that it's silicone because it's going to help it pop right on out. So I just did a little sprinkle of parm and then topped it with some mozzarella cheese. And by the time I finished whipping that up, it had been 20 minutes. And so both of these were ready to go in the oven. And look at these. This took about 15 minutes. And at the 15 minute mark, this is what our pull apart bread looked like. And this is what it looks like finished y'all. Oh my goodness. Do you see how gorgeous this bread is? Mm. I'm gonna let that cool and come back to it. I went out to the garden and grabbed some rosemary because we are going to make a rosemary infused oil for our next bread, which is gonna be a focata rosemary and roasted garlic focata. And y'all, it is so simple to make an infused oil. And I will leave that recipe down below as well. But the process is super simple. While that is simmering, we're going to go ahead and get to this roasted garlic. And roasted garlic, if you've never done it, it is super simple to do. And it adds so much flavor to your dishes. I love roasted garlic. It is just such a pungent, delicious flavor. And so I am just going to put my garlic cloves in this little mini cute pot and we're gonna just sprinkle some olive oil over the top and put a sprig of rosemary in there and I'm just gonna pop that right in the oven with everything else so I turned our loaf out and wanted you to see the bottom I wanted you to see that it was together and molded so beautifully y'all look at how delicious this bread looks it is so good. I am just so surprised with how beautiful it was. Like I was expecting it to be beautiful, but y'all, <laughs> look at this. Look how delicious. Oh my goodness. So soft. This would be the perfect addition to any morning. It just, it's regular things in there, but it's a way to spice things up, change things up some. Let me tell you. My kids loved it. They were so happy with this bread. <laughs> is, it, is it yummy? Yes, it really is. It's like bread, like the cheese, and I like the, the peppers. I can definitely taste it. It's really yummy. It's really yummy, mommy. Oh, this was so delicious. This is right up my alley. Like, I appreciate being able to have an option that doesn't necessarily, you know, have grains. And so this is a really delicious option. If you've never made focata, like I've never made focata, you are going to be so surprised at how simple it is to make focata. I'm going to be adding about a fourth a cup of oil at the bottom of these casserole dishes. And because the dough is straight out of the fridge, I'm going to let it come to room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's nice and pliable. While I'm waiting for that dough, I'm going to go ahead and whip up our cream cheese. So this is going to be a roasted garlic and rosemary whipped cream cheese to go with our focata and it's the simplest thing ever. I will be sure to leave the recipe down in the description box but it was simple y'all. I just did a couple tablespoons of butter. Um, I also added the reserve of oil from the garlic 
Ooh, I added that in there to give it just some extra flavor. Um, a couple tablespoons of rosemary, like two heads of the garlic. It was just so simple and yet so impactful. You're gonna just see how beautiful something simple can turn out to be. Okay, back to our rosemary infused oil. This is the oil we are going to use to create our focaccia. And I'm gonna be using about a fourth a cup of our rosemary oil on each one. So fun fact about me, I am a licensed massage therapist and have been for about 17 years. And so making this focaccia, I felt at home. <laughs> I really enjoyed kneading and just working out that dough so much. I love it. I found out very quickly that focaccia is such a simple bread to make but it's so impressive like the possibilities of your creativity when it comes to decorating your focaccia are endless i've seen so many beautiful works of art done on focaccia <laughs> we are keeping it simple today and i'm just going to be taking out these cloves of garlic and i'm just going to just smash it in there and this is what it looked like after about 15 minute minutes y'all and this is what it looked like finished 20 minutes listen look how beautiful this bread is just let's just take it in if you could smell this bread right now it is phenomenal I'm thinking about how incredible a fig and yellow raisin focaccia would be. I think that would be so delicious. There's so many different options with being able to make a focaccia. With just one dough, we were able to technically make three loaves if we're calling a focaccia one loaf. But three portions of bread. That's amazing. Princeton. That's really good. That's good. It's so crunchy. Nice. What did you think? Definitely tell me all of your thoughts. Definitely tell me which one of those breakfast breads that you love the most? Like which one, if you had to try one, which one would it be? We absolutely love, love, love them. I love the way that pull apart bread just, it was just so amazing. And I love the idea of using a focaccia for breakfast bread. I mean, why not? It's nice and crispy and with those garlic flavors and rosemary it's just screams breakfast you can whip up some eggs and call it a morning 
everybody is happy everybody is satisfied it's a good alternative to having a bagel and it's just so it's freshly baked and it's all the things and so i cannot wait to hear your thoughts thank you guys for joining me today in the garden and in the kitchen i will see you guys next time